previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Owl. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <coughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Moin Moin und herzlich willkommen zur zweiten Episode Life is Strange Before the Storm mit eurem Brocken. Ja, jetzt geht die Reise rund in die schöne neue Welt, heißt die zweite Episode. Bin mal gespannt, was uns erwartet. So, da ist auf jeden Fall Rachel. <lacht> Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. <laughs> Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Victoria Chase. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me, and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. Chloe, watch your language. But mom... These outbursts only compound the trouble you're in, Miss Price. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. We're 
Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. <laughs> Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber. I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. 
Um wieder was um Widerworte zu gewinnen, musst du deinem Gegenüber genau zuhören und deine Antwort dementsprechend wählen. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <lacht> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's <laughs> meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Fuck you. <lacht> Ach, auf geschissen auf die Schule, Alter. Er braucht den Dreck hier. Ey. Hauptsache, ich kann meiner Freundin helfen. I'm sorry. Helfen. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Oh, kommt der Lauch, ey. <laughs> for security. Mom, I'm I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Ja, ich unterschreibe auch. <lacht> ja, Chemiebuch mal, ne? Sie mag ja Wissenschaft, deswegen. Sollten wir auch das gute Chemiebuch okay, in die Mülltonne werfen? <lacht> auch wegwerfen. <lacht> oh ja, Englisch brauchen wir auch nicht so Dreck. <lacht> Und hier irgendwie so, keine Ahnung, was wir da hinten auf dem Buch haben. 
keine Ahnung. Oder so ein Flyer, ach komm, brauchen wir auch nicht. <lacht> oh, wir können noch was rausholen. Jackpot. Hä? Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Hä? Chloe, hey, ich musste mir deinen Vorrat, dein Vorrat leihen, verzweifelte Zeiten. Okay, ich verspreche, du kriegst es nächste Woche zurück, Justin. Was für ein Hundesohn, Alter. Kann doch nicht einfach meinen Weed klauen. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh... Bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Ich zieh erstmal eine Tüte durch. <lacht> Und dann. <lacht> Und dann weiß ich. Das ist sicher, was ich mache. Oh nein, ich kritze das ganze Klo voll. <lacht> oh, wie geil. Geil. Hätte ich auch mal machen sollen. <lacht> ja, aufs Waschbecken und die Wand noch. Oh, am besten jetzt ein Brief, das Waschbecken noch. Ja, wie heftig. Schöne neue Welt, du. Ja, die ist echt. <lacht> Er kommt auch gar nicht rein oder klopft mal an, sondern sie sitzt da irgendwie schon gefühlt in Zeit drin und kritzelt alles voll. Was zur Hölle. <lacht> Geil. Oh oh, Victoria, die schreit doch jetzt gleich. <lacht> 